for today's project, I'm going to show you my new design, which is the Bloom Earrings. In this project, we'll be learning how to encase an 8mm chaton, as well as some right angle weave techniques. For this project, I will be using 12 6mm fire polish beads, 24 4mm fire polish beads, 24 4 millimeter bicones, 36 3 millimeter bicones. I'm going to use 2 grams of a size 15 seed bead, and these are Toho brand. I'm going to be using less than 1 gram of a size 11 seed bead in the Mayuki brand. And then I'm also going to be using um, two of the 8 millimeter chatons. Additional to that, you are going to need some ear hooks. And for these, I've actually made my own. Um, but you will need some ear hooks as well as a needle. And each of your earrings is going to take two yards of thread. So one really cool thing before I get started that I want to show you is I wanted to show you this um, neat new needle holder that I have found. Um, one of my employees actually showed this to me and it's the coolest thing. Um, you pop this off and then you roll it up just like you would lipstick and your needles come out of the case. And there is a magnet down in there that helps to hold your needles in place. And then you just pick your needle out and roll this back down and put your cap back on and it snaps into place so you don't have to worry about that coming off. Um, so this is really cool and we actually have these right now on our website which is off the beaded path beadstore.com. So to get started on our actual project today what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up a 15, a 6 millimeter, a 15, and three four millimeter fire polish beads. Now I'm gonna let these beads drop. And I'm gonna tie these beads into a circle. Now if you want, you can go back through all the beads again and then tie them into a circle, but it's not necessary. It actually hinders it a little bit because some of these beads we're gonna have to go through several times. So um, it can get kind of tight if you do that. So I have my little right angle weave box here. So I'm gonna take my needle and I'm gonna go right down through the four millimeter that's right below that knot. And I'm just gonna hold this tail out of the way for now. I'm gonna pick up two four millimeter fire polish, then a 15, a six millimeter, and a 15. My thread is coming out at the bottom of the four millimeter, so I'm gonna come right back down through this same bead so that it will make a circle. And then I'm gonna go through the two four millimeters that I just added. So I'm going through this one. And then up through this one. Now I'm gonna pick up a 15, a six millimeter, a 15, and then two four millimeter fire polish beads. My thread is coming out of the top of the bead, so I'm gonna come right back up through that same bead to make my circle. Then I'm gonna go through the 15, the six millimeter, the 15 and the four millimeter that I just added. And you can see after each box, I'm holding that box that I finish so that it stays nice and tight. So now I'm gonna do two four millimeters and then a 15, a six millimeter and a 15. My thread is coming out of the bottom of the four millimeter, so I'm gonna come right back down through it to make a circle. 
and then I'm going to go through the two four millimeters that I just added. So I'm going through this one and this one. And you also notice you can do them two at a time or one at a time, whatever is easiest for you. Okay, so that gives me four boxes. So for the fifth one, it's going to be a 15, a six millimeter, a 15, and two four millimeters. I'm going to come back up through the same bead that I'm coming out of so that it makes a circle. Then I'm going to go through the 15, the 6 millimeter, the 15, and then the 4 millimeter. So now this gives me five boxes. My earring is composed of six little right angle weave boxes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of fold the piece together. And I'm to the inside right here, so I'm going to pick up one four millimeter fire polish bead. And right now my thread is exiting towards the center of my little circle. So I'm going to take and I'm going to go right up through going from the inside to the outside of this very first box that I added. Okay, so now I have to finish the outside. So I'm going to pick up a 15, a 6 millimeter, and a 15. So right now my thread is coming out of the first 4 millimeter that I added in my box. So now I'm going to come back over here to the last one and go through it going from outside to inside so that now it pulls that together and I have a six bead right angle weave box. Now if you want to, you can go through these beads once more to reinforce it and um, that kind of helps with your next step. You don't have to do this, but it just kind of helps to keep this box together as you work your next step. Because what our next step is going to be is we're going to be adding embellishments to the top of this piece. And what I'm going to do bef before I do anything else, I'm going to get my needle back into position where it needs to be. So I'm going to be coming out of this 4 millimeter, And I'm going to take and thread a needle onto this short thread and stitch it through and trim this short thread so off. So to start the top embellishment, I'm coming out here of the four millimeter towards the center. So I'm gonna pick up a three millimeter, an 11 O seed bead, a four millimeter bicone, and two 15s. And I'm going to come to the only four millimeters I'm going to be working with are these here right next to the six millimeters. So I'm going to come to the next four millimeter. Now it doesn't matter if you come to this one or to this one, but whichever one you're going to come to, you have to continue in that direction. So I'm going to come to the next one and I'm going to go in the same direction as I was here. So I'm going to go from the outside to the inside and I'm going to pull that thread so that my embellishment is along the top here. Now I'm gonna do this all the way around. So I'm gonna pick up a three millimeter, an 11 O, a four millimeter bicone, and two 15s. I'm gonna to come to the next four millimeter, and again, I'm gonna go down through it going from the outside to the inside so that that will make another embellishment along the top. So you're going to do that four more Once times. Once you've gone all the way around, this is what your piece will look like. Now we're going to work in the opposite direction because we're going to finish out these shapes that we've started. So I'm going to pick up a three millimeter bicone and I'm going to, this is the last little embellishment that I did and I'm going to come right back up through the 11 O seed bead that's in between the three and the four. And I'm gonna put my finger on that and I'm gonna pull this thread. Now, a four millimeter and two 15s. 
and I'm going to come to the 4 millimeter fire polish and I'm going to come in that same direction from outside to inside and I'm going to pull so that that makes my first little X shape embellishment. So I'm going to show you that one more time. I'm going to pick up a 3 millimeter. I'm going to come up through the size 11 seed bead that's right in between those beads. Then you want to pick up a 4 millimeter, two 15s, come to the next 4 millimeter fire polish, and you're going to go down through, outside to inside, through that bead. And you're going to do that for the other four embellishments when you finish here. your embellishments, this is what your piece will look like at this point. Now, I'm still coming out of the 4 millimeter fire polish bead. Now, the next step, it doesn't matter if you go um, in a counterclockwise or a clockwise position, but whichever way you start, you have to continue in that direction. I'm going to go through the two 3 millimeters that are right here for my first little shape. So I'm going to go up through this one and then down through this one. And you might make the mistake sometimes, like I just did right here. I actually went through that 11 as well by accident. I didn't catch that. So you don't want to go through the 11s. Let me pull that back out. There we go. The 3 millimeter. It's very easy to catch that bead. All right. I'm going to pick up a size 11 seed bead and then I'm going to come through the next two three millimeters. So I'm going to come up through this one, down through this one, then a size 11 seed bead and I'm going to do the same, come to the next two three millimeters. So I'm going through this one. and this one. And you want to continue going around till you have six size 11 seed beads added. And then you'll want to exit any one of those size 11 seed beads that you so just I've gone added. all the way around and I'm coming out of the first size 11 seed bead that I added. Now, this is the part where we're actually going to put our chaton in. So I'm going to set it down in this little hole that I've made and I want it to be face up. And you're going to have to work this round with the bead actually in there because if you don't, it won't be tight enough for what you're wanting to do. So I'm going to pick up three 15s and I'm going to go through the next 11. So I'm going to skip the three millimeters and go through the 11. Now, depending on how tight you pulled, it'll depend on how you're going to be able to get through that bead. Now, when you pull it, you'll want to pull it tight so it lays flat like this. If it's curved whatsoever, make it lay flat. Okay, then three more 15s. I'm going to take the needle and I'm going to come through the next 11 that I added in this round. And pull it tight. And you'll want to do this all the way around. And once you've gone all the way around, then go through your beads once more to reinforce them so you really get a nice hold for your once chaton. Once the center has been completed and you have the chaton encased, then you will want to stitch through your beads to exit any 6 millimeter fire polish bead along the outer edge. At this point, you're going to pick up an 11, a 3 millimeter bicone, and an 11. And you're going to skip these 15s here and you're going to go straight through the next fire polish bead. That's 6 millimeter. So it's going to look just like this. And you're going to do this all the way around, just picking up the 11, the 3 millimeter, and the 11, and going through your next fire polish bead. 
and some will stick out a little bit and some won't and that's completely okay because we're going to fix that as Once we go along. added all of your little three millimeter embellishments, you're going to want to exit the 11 that comes right before a three millimeter. At this point, you're going to pick up three 15s. You are going to skip the three millimeter and go through the next 11 O. Now, if you use a Mayuki 15, you may have to add more beads here. So now I'm here at this six millimeter, so I'm gonna pick up seven 15s. Okay, so two, four, six, seven. I'm gonna skip the six millimeter and I'm gonna go through the next 11 O. And then I'm to my little three millimeter, so I'm gonna pick up three 15s. Skip the three and go through the next 11. And then I'm gonna pick up seven. Skip the six millimeter and go through the next 11. And I'm gonna do this all the way around and when I get back around, you'll want to come out of the middle seed bead of a set of seven. All right, seven. so technically, if you wanted this earring to be complete, it could now be complete. But the only thing I found was that if I tried to make my earring bell, the earring didn't lay exactly flat. It kind of laid at a diagonal. So I added a second layer of beads to help it lay more flat on the earring. So I'm coming out of the fourth seed bead of a set of seven here. And these are my 15s. I'm gonna pick up three 15s and I'm gonna go, I'm right here, I'm gonna come to this next little X shape here. I'm gonna come down through the two 15s right below this four millimeter. Okay, so I'm going this direction. Then I'm going to go up through the very next two 15s that are going to be right there below the next four millimeter. And I'm going to pull that through. So that's going to kind of pull that up a little bit. Then I'm going to pick up three 15s and I'm going to go through the middle bead of the next set of seven. So one, two, three, fourth. Okay, so it's always that fourth bead. Then I'm gonna pick up three 15s. I'm gonna come to the next little set of 15s here and I'm gonna go down through the two 15s that are right below the four millimeter. Then I'm gonna go up through the next two 15s. I'm gonna pick up three 15s and I'm gonna go through the middle bead of that next set of seven. Okay, so that this is what it's starting to look like and it's giving it a little bit more dimension as we work. So now three more 15s and then down through the two 15s right below the four millimeter and then up through the next two 15s. And you're gonna continue this all the way around. All right. So once you've gone all the way around, this is what your piece will look like. And as you can see, it's got that really pretty floral shape. So the last bead that I went through is the middle bead of my set of seven. And I'm gonna make my earring loop here. So I'm gonna pick up six 15s. And I'm gonna come back through the same bead I'm coming out of so that it makes the circle. And then I'm gonna reinforce that loop several times, trim off the thread and attach my ear hook. So we do have this version 
and this version available on my website, which is off the beaded path beadstore.com, as well as the written pattern available. And again, that's off the beaded path beadstore.com.